Do you notice some stuff about WWE production since Kevin Dunn's been gone? Like a glitch here and there? No, it's just some interesting new stuff. Like there was there was a shot, one continuous, almost like an establishing shot from a film when they came out of commercial. I have a link, Steve. Um, the one where they it was uh, like a, uh, a it was package? Eight, it was the eight-man tag. No, no, no. The way they shot it, it was like a film. Here, look at this. Coming out of commercial. Look how long they go before a cut. I This is how you would shoot a film about wrestling. Have you seen ever seen that fucking... Uh, they have another shot that's from up top that mm-hmm. basically... I don't know how... It, it, it's almost like the camera is... It's coming out of like the last three rows and then it's angled and you get the whole fucking bowl and all the fucking people. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, you know, yeah. It, it's different stuff. I'm, I'm kind of into that. Just I'm a production geek. So I kind of dig that. So I'll be looking for more of that stuff, trying to make the production look a little different. You know, we always talk about when there's multiple federations and stuff and I always that six-sided ring was ridiculous. Um, is there any other way we can present wrestling a little differently today? And I've talked to you about the stuff that you were doing there with like the peeking around the door and all that stuff. But um, yeah, so this is like, I'll, I'll say it's a steady cam. It's probably a, it's probably a new name for the device now, but um, I like it. I like that. Uh, I like that trying some new stuff and I, I guess i'm attributing it to kevin dunn maybe it's just a coincidence maybe kevin dunn was planning to do this stuff all along i don't know i think that you i i, I just I, I think like anybody i think that when you get uh a new director you know when you said i mean there's you know it's, he's gonna have different sensibilities and, and, mm-hmm. and things that excite him and yeah I, I just noticed, I mean, that, that like the, every once in a while, there'll be a truck glitch, like a cut. Like cut to something. the wrong angle and then yeah, cut away real just quick? Okay. Real short, but I mean, I, I, it, I catch it mm-hmm. because I used, to, I used to really be hard on Kevin Dunn because anytime somebody threw a, 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 a punch, he would cut. He would cut out of it before and turn it around in case it missed by a mile or whatever to cover. Yeah, and there's 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 guys you know fucking throw a really good punch, and it's better to get close with that steady cam on the fucking apron, and where that fucking it looks like that that fucker's landing instead of doing all the optics of of trying to cover up, you know, mm-hmm. and then at the same time, not covering up the fact you, when a guy super kicks, he fucking smacks his thigh. Right. You know, it's just like, yeah. well, Jesus, man, pick fucking one. But it's, 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 it's a hard job. I, at the museum of the moving image in, in New York, I was there this summer. I, me and Todd hosted a, a, a thing there. And one of the, awesome exhibits they have they sit you down in front of uh a uh in a in a in a booth like in the tr- in the truck or be in the stadium for a baseball game and you have the audio playing of the director on the mic calling the shots and in front of you are seriously like 35 camera angles and some of them are, you know, it's raw. So so they're zooming in and focusing and trying to follow the action. And you're listening to him call it. And it is, and, and baseball is a pretty low impact, not a very cutty sport. But it, it is because it's boring to watch. So if you so stay you with move this, around. you got to move because it's st- the stagnant, stagnation of the fucking play. Right. And holy shit, it's so stressful listening to him. And it's to be able to see all those cameras at once and get one on deck while you cut to this one. And then you're going to know because the 
you know, it's getting close to the pitch, so we're going to need the close-up of the pitcher's face, and then we're going to get to the wide shot behind the pitcher. Then the ball goes. It, it's so maddening. It's See, such to, a hard job. To me, I look at that, and I say, yeah, that sucks. And then I, I, I picture being an air traffic controller. Okay. All right. And I'm like, oh. All right. You know what I mean, though? Like, it's like. Okay, hey, okay, that dude, that matters you, more than missing you, you, the yeah, bunt. Yeah, you, 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 yeah, you missed the fucking strike. Yeah, but I, I got this, I got this United piggyback and this jet blew down on fucking runway eleven A. Like, fuck. Yeah. How do you like a twelve-hour shift of that walking up with a fucking thermos of coffee? Anyone who might be too young might not realize in nineteen eighty there was a. Uh, an air traffic controller strike, strike, and they were sticking scabs up in the towers to call the planes. It's it's a uh, it's miraculous we didn't lose more people than that.